days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats faster. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I need it. Roy I've been at the airport since seven thirty this morning. <laughs> You've been at the airport. Oh, oh, I forgot. Yeah, there was a. Oh, I'm sorry. It was know. a global, global Microsoft outage that impacted the airports. Apparently, hey, every hey. airline except for the one that is not on that has like dot matrix and the old. They didn't spirit upgrade their Microsoft. Was coming and going just fine. <laughs> yes, spirit. Yes, <laughs> this Delta folks. <laughs> I just I'm a I'm gonna just show you this briefly. I oh wait a minute! Wow, what is you're, that? You're in the airport? the airport? Are you serious? Wait, he got a set of a light. Yo, Man. Roy Wood, let me tell you, you are a G. He even got the light set up. What? I'm <laughs> in the airport, I'm out here like Roland Martin, baby. Just set up the camera, set the lights oh, up, give me some. Of, I don't good. know when this free Wi-Fi gonna go out. I think you only okay. get an hour. I had to I have to re up. Okay. So if okay. I drop right. out. All right. Oh, free Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Good to okay, see you, baby. So good to the see you. The podcast is Road to Rickwood, where we break down the America's oldest baseball park. I yeah, talked to some uh, old head Negro Leaguers. Road it to Rickwood. It is beautiful. You have you were um doing the most and giving us life. Um so yeah, there was an outage, a global outage. Um, tech disruptions across the world, across the world. I don't know if this was a test run to see what would happen, but Delta, United, American, you're right. Spirit failed. is not on that list. Delays, Everybody canceled failed. flights yeah. to Europe and Asia, 911 services down, um, all in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Great Britain now, um, impacted, um, Israel, I, Germany, UK. Oh, that's I've learned the something today. What you like? Karen, I've learned since being in this airport at seven o'clock this morning, my flight don't leave till about 6 p.m. tonight. Um, I've learned that no matter what your political beliefs are, if you stand next to anybody long enough, you become unified in hating the American airline system. I stood shoulder to shoulder with Trump supporters today, Karen Hunt, and it was beautiful as we bullied Delta Airlines for answers. We put our <laughs> politics to the side. And we said, hey, you dumbass donkeys. <laughs> we need some answers. Um, it's been a day, man, but I've been here covering the RNC. And uh, shout out to Laura Coates, who let me get in the mix with her uh, over on CNN uh, last night as well. So mm. that's what I'm doing. That's why you see a great behind me. They ain't even finished building this old ass airport. That's how it run down. Look at it. Look at that behind I me. I see it. Wow. It is raggedy. Uh, they had aspirate. They thought they nice thought though. they was gonna need that many more. They thought they was right. gonna need this concourse too. They was like, wait a minute, this Milwaukee, we ain't got to build all that. That look like boxes. that looks like a. Uh, if you ever go to an old black mall where they done decided yes. it's it's a wrap, yes. it's just nothing but yeah. but but babies are us back there. Man, this <laughs> used to be a, a kid's Footlocker. Right. Exactly. <laughs> 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 oh my God! But um, are you? So we have a, a couple of things on the on the table that I want to talk okay. about. No, um, let's let's first talk about this uh, cyber attack. Was it a cyber attack? Not sure. Or is it because Microsoft fired all their DEI team? Maybe they fired the very people. Because I feel like a lot of times people fire people don't know what they do, and then they're gone. And then the, maybe that was the person that needed to plug the stuff in. <laughs> or they could have set it up. Same thing happened at Twitter when Elon let all them folks go. Yo, when you hire, when you fire, when you have mass layoffs in tech, y'all gonna have a hiccup the next day. You already know what the business is. Mm. I or it could have been somebody who set it up because they got fired. Mm. You ever you ever you ever work with somebody that just be like you know what I'm gonna just I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm piss plugging in the shake everything machine. on the yeah. way out. Yeah, they do something crazy. Yeah, yeah, I've been that person, so I understand. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, oh y'all, oh y'all needed that chip, right? Hmm, taking that, <laughs> taking that with me. Shoot, they did um, it the right way when they fired me from radio. They did it while I was out of town because they smarty. knew it. I was yeah. going. Hey, you fired me at the radio station. I was going to get in them commercials and put random cuss words in the middle of radio station commercials and get you fined and you lose the sponsor. And you so, know, Roy is a prankster. 
So you got to yes. fire him when he out the out. You don't want to yeah. give him no chance to set nothing up. They, they yeah, that's that's right. a lesson I I they didn't did learn. Right. But um, anyway, <laughs> so, so I'm gonna say less. CrowdStrike <laughs> CrowdStrike CEO said that a fix has been deployed, and Microsoft said that the underlying cause has been fixed. But I feel like the underlying ca cause may be cyber cyber uh, terrorism, mm. uh, and I feel like this is a trial balloon. Somebody said, "I told you this was gonna happen leading to the election. You better have enough water and food for a month because it's about to go down." UPS shipping, FedEx, all warning customers that they will uh, get some sort of delays. I've already mm. experienced that with some books and stuff. So yeah, it's it's some weird things going on. You China. Keep that cash in the house. Do y'all have any black prepper friends? Uh, I'm the I'm no. the black prepper friend. <laughs> See, that's the thing, man. We Me, talk all I'm... this trash about white folks being in the woods and redneck, and oh, they just be out there in the woods fishing, playing in the mud. Well, look at you now. Mm -hmm. You're one damn cyber attack away from being out there trying to catch your own catfish, and you ain't gonna know what to do with it. You need a country cousin. You need a cousin with a gun. Those are the two things you need. Mm -hmm. You need one. You need. Usually, it's the same person. But you need at least two of them people in your life. I don't care if they black or white. Now you I need do, at least one person. I do count my dad. I wouldn't call my dad a prepper, but he absolutely is ready. If it go down, we just got to get this house. We we straight. Like he he got all the food stocked up. He know how to catch and live off the land. I just where, where some, he at? North Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina. Okay. So I just right, need to get to. I just need to get about address. five miles down the road. I'm 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 Gucci. So I I, I wouldn't consider him a prepper, but you know, he prepared. I'm going to be the first one to die. I ain't, I ain't got a gun. I, like, you can't do stand-up in the apocalypse? There ain't going to be no stand-up? <laughs> Bro, I, this is for real. I got two Trump hats as souvenirs from the RNC when I was still with The Daily Show. When the, when the, when the shit go down, I'm Switch putting them teams. Trump hats on. Yeah. And I'm knocking on people's door. Hey, brother, just, just, you know, MAGA to MAGA. Can we come inside and just have a little <laughs> That's going to be my camouflage. That's how I'm going to survive the apocalypse. You know what? That might proposition. Work. Yo, that might work. If, I, <laughs> if, if buying a hat wouldn't put money in his pocket, I would get one. Or maybe can we make one? I just, I'm just, it's a dangerous it proposition. Is. Yeah, it and is. Speaking of, speaking of the, uh, the cyber attack and Trump merch, there was a dude here in the Milwaukee airport. There's video of it on my Twitter feed. Mm -hmm. um, he came to the airport. Since everybody stuck at the airport, the line was four hours long to talk to a, a desk agent. Mm. Dude wow. came in selling Trump merch at the airport. Respect wow. to Milwaukee uh, hustler. hustlers. Hustler. Respect. Was he black? You wow. ain't going nowhere. Yeah, he was black. Oh, Unk had all the colors, oh, too. God. Probably oh. don't even believe in it. Of course not. This is all profit. Hey. <laughs> I don't wow. even think he's wearing socks. Let me pull the video up real quick. It's right there on my <laughs> he said he wasn't I used to, I did what? used to have a, a tacky American flag trucker hat. Uh -huh. And I used to rock that whenever I had to go downtown to hang out with my white friends. And depending on the events in town. So like if NASCAR was in town and you know how it's about to be crowded, throw on yeah. the hat. I'm Gucci. I well, walk then. in, they like hey, well, they then. they think I'm one wow. of them. Wow. That's good. So so self-defense, these are some interesting tactics that I'm appreciating it. You know, get you an American hat, uh, American mm -hmm. flag hat, a Trump hat. We we got to protect ourselves by camouflage. any means Yes, camouflage. This is our version of camouflage. I love that. Technology's made us lazy, and there's still, you need to be able, and I'm joking a little bit, you know, I can at least chop some wood and build a fire. Like I'm useful in that regard. If you can go kill the grizzly bear, I know how to, you know, how to set the oven mm -hmm. and barbecue it. I am a grill master. <laughs> but I, I just think though, like with a lot of these new kids, man, they ain't outside enough. They're not mm. doing any, the screens keep them indoors. So all of that jumping across the creek and catching crawdads with your bare hands, skipping rocks, all of that. There will be at some point, I don't know if it's in our lifetime, Karen Hunter, where it's going to be a night. COVID was almost that. We was almost mm. in. We was fighting over the toilet paper. That's how it start. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be at least one time where you're going to have to be out there in these streets for real, man. I'm not trying to sound all apocalypse, nah. but you need some. Hand oh, you need one person that's got hands. In mm -hmm. case you ain't got no gun. Oh, mm -hmm. That's me mm -hmm. too. All right. So I got two boxes checked. So uh, <laughs> I wish you would. 
<laughs> don't do it. But so yeah, the other time was we had the um hurricane. Was it Sandy? Which one did we yeah. have up here? Um, it was Sandy. Thank and you, um, Sandy. I was without power for like ten days, and the gas pumps were down, mm. and I almost mm. had an altercation at the gas station because I cut in line, and I mm. did cut in line. But you know, if you leave an inch in Jersey, you that's that's an entree mm-hmm. in, in my opinion. Yeah. So I yeah. came in backwards and slipped in. Person was upset, but that could have ended up if it was dire, you know. Mm. Like we don't know if we ever gonna get gas again. It could have been a situation. Mm. It was weird okay. though because I'm I, I'm in line and you gotta remember I ain't with the Daily Show no more. I ain't got security like that. You know. Oh, you had security no, there? No, they, I they didn't have no security. Not at that oh, point. Okay. No. No, I'm no. saying they gave you the Daily Show gave you security. Yeah, if if you're a correspondent and you're covering something of this size, yeah, you would have security, okay. and it's it's thicker now because you know the block then got more hot and mm-hmm. cleppered and pissed off enough people. But generally, you had security. So if people was talking crazy to you, you could keep it moving. Somebody would keep you moving. When you in line for seven hours with Delta Airlines and you just next to another Trump person, you just in a conversation. Yep, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Man, I done sat and talked to these folks all day. Let me tell you something. This is what I do learned they, today. Wait, hold on, Roy. Do they know you? So they recognize me, but they don't know from where. So, so I you can could be a rapper, throw, a basketball I player. Can, or <laughs> I can throw the smoke screen. And like, and they be like, don't I know you from somewhere? Like, yeah, you know, I, 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 used to, I used to do comedy. I talk about it like I retired mm. from it or something. And then one of them was like, you're a reporter, right? And I'm like, yes, ma'am, NPR. Because I know they ain't got beef with NPR. Right. Like, if I say CNN, <laughs> and I got to stand right. next to you for the next seven hours. So, no. The, but nobody made me from Daily Show because most of these people don't watch the Daily Show. Right. Like, that's not, that's not what they do. And even still, it's the airport. You ain't going to fight me in the airport. Mm-hmm. I well, I, I've seen some people lose their yeah. minds uh, because of flight. That's, That's what they're doing lady. over at Spirit. That's what, yeah. like, if you on Spirit right now, the plane will get there on time, but you got to fight for the seat. So it's That's a fair. Royal Rumble. I mean, it's fair <laughs> enough. I'm just happy Spirit got seats. You know, they was talking about them stand up planes for a minute. Yeah, but you know what? what? Vertical seats. Yeah. No, like mm-hmm. on a on a subway? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, Strap hanging. Oh. No. <laughs> Who runs, a little I, feel like, I feel like whoever had whoever is this, Rupert Murdoch, whoever owns Tubi and T- they gonna be, Timu. They're gonna be on Spirit, Spirit talking about Showtime, Showtime. <laughs> 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 oh my God. All right, I cut you off, Roy. What are we what are we gonna tell us about when no, you stand I, next to this lady? It just it's just what's wild is that when we think about the political atmosphere right now and we think of political people like in these large groups, but when you start talking to people individually, folks be seeming normal. They be seeming normal until you get to politics. And I'm trying to figure out what is the divide from just two people complaining about automation and this, that, and the third. And then that person just whole left turn. Well, thank goodness Elon Musk is going to fix all of this. What? (laughs) We've been bonding for the last two hours. Mm -hmm. And then you... Get into the other, you get into the other stuff, and then that's when the block get hot. That's the value of small talk. Like I don't like, I don't like small talk. But the value of small talk is is normally stuff like the weather, uh, your kids, you know, stuff that that's not controversial. Sports. You're right, yeah. you know. And then you get right above small talk, and it's like, yeah, because you know they coming to take our jobs, and it's like. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. yeah. Listen, I'm I'm like that with with folk that got to do work on my house or whatever, and they show up, and mm-hmm. like you know, or the PSENG person today, the water person had to come change my meter, and you know you can't determine who they are, and mm-hmm. they're in your house, and I'm just praying, you know, because in this, you in my house, you got my address, you know, it's right. just ooh. Uh, yeah. Do you take down all your black pictures when you got like you know you got like a, I'm black. Well, like, I gotta take down my black self. You answered the how you answered the door in that Marcus yeah. Darby t-shirt. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. And a do-rag. And a scarf. I, Roy, you answered oh my the Trump hat? What you doing? Roy pull out the MAGA hat, like, hey man, oh my God. can I get a discount? 
<laughs> Rod, Rod, the world gonna end and Karen gonna be out in that Marcus Garvey t shirt. She ain't gonna get no assistance. No, we gonna no. be the, we gonna be in the house with the white folks looking outside out the blinds like that. Hey, Karen, Karen marching down the street. Don't you let her That's in. Like, we can't right, trust yeah. She played it wrong. Oh my god. See, y'all gonna do me like that. I'm gonna be out there all my mind. I know that's true too. Y'all laughing, but I know I'm gonna be the only one out in the streets with, with a fist in the air and a afro pick. Uh, a six six eight zero one eight two five five. I'm a hold. I'm a hold strong though for the two people that'll be out there with me. Uh. <laughs> Isn't it lovely when the one who loves things is the one